case you're wondering what the party button did. Well, there you go. Thanks for the demonstration. What's going on guys? It's your boy out here, Boom Boom Tisk. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to California. So we got the wagon out here today. We're cleaning it up because we're gonna cruise out to a JDM swap meet hosted by the homie Rex, Rex One. Um, it's basically gonna be a SoCal car type of weekend. We're gonna do a little bit of car life things. So I figured I'd take you guys along. Um, we do still have more videos from Japan on the way too. So definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is uh, this is our home, so I figured uh, let's go ahead and show you guys around. Wagon outside today, all cleaned up, which basically consisted of just wiping it down with a couple of rags while the car was still wet. <laughs> so that's what I like about this car. It doesn't ever take much to keep it clean. It's so simple. Part of it being silver, and you could pretty much just get away with wiping it down. It doesn't look bad, but yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, if you guys don't know, it's a 1986 Toyota Cressida wagon and it's pretty simple other than being dropped on some SSR mesh wheels but yeah this is our our weekend cruiser kind of just our get in and go car which is basically what we're doing today so here up and right bright and early Woo. setting up back in san diego from back, japan back in sd are we really back in sd we're are we back in SD. you sure we're still not in japan bro like japan. <laughs> still in japan huh feels like japan still on japan time it's still in japan jet lag huh you got homie mop over here yo honda ruckus skirt skirt nice little display over here from the honors booth wait See? let's get a close-up on that shirt dude. See? i love my wife See? Wait, hold on. What's the fine print say? Uh, and it see, comes uh, when yeah. my wow. wow. See, That's I gotta hand it. it to you. It's pretty wild over here. Check out this Midori EK full blown drag race setup. Skinny's in the back. And then we got full carbon fiber up here in the front with the fenders. Mickey Thompson's in the front. Big old tires. Well, probably still considered a small tire by drag race standards, but to me, it's a big tire. Battery in the front here with the Sheepy Race intercooler too. Looks like a B-Series under the hood. And then we got the exhaust exit out here. Out of the hood. <laughs> Carbon. It's pretty wild. Got some good setup over here. A couple different homies out here from San Diego. Got some fun stuff for sale today. You know, people are still setting stuff up. Hello, morning. Uh, Rex One booth over here, Rex One Garage. And then he's got half of his garage here today. Uh, <laughs> not even all of it, yeah, all the DA stuff. Look at all the clusters over there. Crazy, you got suspension, lights over here. Damn, starting to look like an up garage out here today. And then, of course, we got the Integra over here. This is the raffle Integra of the day, 97 with the 4x114 bolt pattern. And we got Aries over here. Are you getting raffled with the car too? Oh yeah, I'm included. Okay, I'm, I'm pitching in for this yeah. right here. <laughs> yep, I'm in. Yep. I get free burritos. Free burrito? Yeah. Nice, dude. Okay, okay. Anything for the burritos, dude. So we got the Integra Type R. This thing's fresh from Japan. Shout out to Japco Zoom, by the way, for uh, helping this come over here stateside. So this is going to be raffled today. Somebody... We'll be lucky enough to drive this thing home. As you can see, the gas door works. Morning, Jay. Check it out. The lift supports work. Interior is nice and clean. Somebody's gonna be lucky today. Bunch of paperwork. Bunch of paperwork. No mods. One owner. One owner. Fresh, dude. Headliner's in good shape. Oh man, this is nice. So, yeah. We got the B18C under the hood right there. Valve cover, original paint, but still looks pretty good. Not too bad. Yeah, 
legit DC2 Type R. Nice, dude. Well, good luck. Right here, we're looking at Jay's NA1 NSX. Still rocking the OG pop up lights. Carbon fiber front bonnet on there. And he's sitting on the Rega's spoon calipers in there. Side. Mostly stock interior here, stock steering wheel still. Just, you know, very simple, it's tastefully done, but it's a timeless look for any NSX, I would say. Got the EK sedan, rocking the 96, 98 USDM headlights. I love it. Very USDM style. Mode perfume kit on there, starting with the front lip, side skirts. It's kind of cool. It's got like almost like a DC2 style in there. And then going out to the back. It's got the rear lip, some EK9 style going on there. But it looks really well integrated for a sedan, I would say. And then we're sitting on some Group B wheels here. Yeah, 15 by 8, I believe. 205 50 tires. Interior is looking nice, clean and simple. Oh, look at that. I'm guessing this was an automatic before. I guess it was converted. I did not know that. Oh, we got the mirrors, Mon Parfum, all the way around. Got the carbon fiber hood, of course. And then under the hood is the K24. Everything you could want on a sedan. Well, this car has it. Got the FL5 over here. Very uh, new school Honda style, but classic vibe you know with the Mugen bronze TEs of course cool can't go wrong more type R's more Mugen more bronze more championship white love it and we got another type R over here FK8 oh got the Hello Kitty <laughs> nice <laughs> nice personal touches but still a badass car Sick. Super Slam CRV over here. Ron's TEs. Tucking in the rear though, look at that. In case you want to know the Instagram handle, right there. Clean inside. And then we got some more Integras over here. You guys have obviously seen these cars on the channel before, but of course we'll, you know, we'll take another quick look here, starting with this one. Right on GSR Integra, one piece headlights. And we have this one over here. You guys, have, again, another car you've seen before. Another GSR. Got the USDM headlights on there this time. One of my favorite things about this car. <laughs> and then of course the spoiler, the Wings West spoiler. Very old school, late 90s, early 2000s vibe, you know. Yugen M7s though, cool, cool. Sedan over here, SSR Schumachers. Cool. Yeah, guys. So uh, it's cool. Again, we're seeing all the San Diego cars out, which it feels good, you know, being back home, being back in SD, and getting back to the groove of things. But seeing all the homies, especially all in one spot, such as this dude over here. What's up, Bolo? Hey, What's up, man? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So uh, we're just going around checking out cars, you know. Yeah, yeah. Bolo's got his uh, Integra sedan over here. Looks super low key on the outside, but we'll just uh, we'll leave it like that. You know, you, you don't need to know about this car. You'll you, you'll find out. <laughs> but uh, let's just say right here, this ought to tell you something. <laughs> so yeah, this thing's pretty badass. Um, and we got a nice, more original GSR Integra over here, rocking the bug eye headlights. Some big fat Nankangs on there on the OEM GSR blades. Nice. Very low key. I like it. Got yeah, Rex's Accord wagon over here for, uh, I believe this is his wife's car, so not bad. Cool. SSR GPOs on there. Suits this car really well. 90s Accord on SSRs. Seriously, that's. But leave it up to Rex. He always knows how to make a car look good. Then we got the Electron Blue EM1 Civic SI over here. Looking mostly original. Yeah, all original. Still got the OEM wheels on there too. And it's got the wing, which is a pretty rare piece to see on these cars. Wow, look at that. Stormtrooper, what's up, man? 
pulling up with his uh, H22 swapped EG hatch. Got the C-West bumper on there. What's up, man? Uh, Civics pulled up over here. Started with the FB6 9th Gen on the NKRPF ones. Super clean. And then we got another black carbon fiber. This one on the FA5 with the FD2 conversion on it. And but we got the wide carbon fiber fenders with the extra piece right there. Nice. Got Cousin Ty over here. His uh, Type R clone looking good. More 8th gens over here. Another uh, FA5 over here with the FD2 fronts. This one's got the Mugen grill. I believe the hood as well. Last time I saw this car, we were talking about how he had the SI seat in there still. <laughs> but now he's got the matching Type R. Man, it looks good. Okay. And of course, the rears, octagon tail lights. So, man, that's cool. And then we got this right here. I like the look right here without the wing. Very clean, simple look. Definitely more uh, understated, but just overall super mean style, mean stance to it. Yeah, that's dope. All right, so this snuck in here. I did not see this one yet. Dude, check it out. EAT Civic. Wow, this thing is super clean. Got the MF48 Mugen wheels on there in 15s. It's an SI, so we got the sunroof. It's got Mugen rear wing too. Look at that. Damn. This is nice, dude. It's cool seeing one of these, especially being back here stateside and to see something like this here. These are really growing on me. I like the key on the gas door. That's dope. Look at that. Definitely 80s. <laughs> Man. Oh, this is nice. Freaking Nestor over here. Always eating good, dude. My bad. Hey, hey. Is it even focusing? No. But hey. Man, follow this guy if you want to eat something good today, guys. Hell yeah. All right. Enjoy and uh, let's have some fun. Thank you. I like So we are uh, out here with the wagon. We are at our compound here in Whittier, California. And so it looks like uh, Joey, Sticky Dill Joe, is doing a little cars and coffee type event. So we're gonna check it out. Should be a pretty good turnout. Yeah, so the name of the game is to try not to get ran over by any of these super clean Hondas. But as you can see, it's about 10 o'clock, which was the start time. And we're pretty full already over here. Type R Jose right off the DC Integra today. I like how he still keeps the OG moldings on there. You know, a lot of people are, you know, back and forth about that, but I think it looks good on this car. It suits it, you know. 
but man, this thing is a straight up circuit race car monster right here. Freaking record holder on some of our local tracks here in California. And it looks good, man. Hell yeah, you can wing. Wow, um, Ren and Toyo proxy RRs on there. Okay. And then you got full cage. Looks like it's custom built too, gusseted to the eight pillars and everything, man. Yeah, dude. What a good looking car. <laughs> gonna be pretty crazy i'm gonna try to cover it as much as i can but yeah this will probably be like an hour long video but so we'll we'll try our best you know sorry if i can't get everybody's cars you know it's all love but um yeah check out the crx over here crazy got a track life fenders on there six ul wheels haven't seen these in a minute our 949 racings damn 15 by 8 these were like the only 15 by 8s you could get and like a plus 35 offset 10 years ago and it's cool to still see someone still rocking them. Very cool. Yeah, like, MR2s right here. Not only that, but you end up bumping into a bunch of cool people too. Like, especially people that, you know, you might not follow on YouTube and all that. And they end up being here. So that's also very exciting to get to shake hands with some of these, uh, you know, YouTubers or people involved in the industry that I've been following. Speaking of which, let's check out this car right here. So this right here, I believe this is Nad's EK. And I was following this build and then I got to bump into him and actually learn more about the car. So one thing that I found very interesting that he had mentioned is that this car is actually painted in Grand Prix white, which is a white that you would find on like an S2000 of some sort. And um, the cool part about it is the Grand Prix white actually matches the Group B wheels that he has on the car right now. And of course, a guy like Naz is pretty particular about, you know, little details like that. So the car looks good. Well, speaking of little details, he's got the spoon wiper blades on there, subtle flex car is half gutted so the rear is all all gutted out and painted but then you still got the front interior just enough comfort creature comfort we have a spoon wing on the back here super street garage if you haven't uh, followed the channel already there you go good stuff there and then yeah looks like a maybe an n1 muffler on there spoon n1 i'm guessing a little low-key spoon theme going on with this car but then it still has more of a oem plus feel on the exterior with the ek9 rear lip you know Everything's color matched. You got the thin side moldings. Dude, these guys nailed it on this thing, man. Good work, guys. I'm enjoying it. And it's good to see that he's uh, able to cruise out here today. Man, top down weather out here. This is Cali vibes right here, man. You gotta love it. Just don't get sunburned. But yeah, speaking of SC1000s, got this one right here. Red low max dog fight seat in there it's with the matching steering wheel too. Damn, all the dog fight dripping there. Mugen kitted CRX over here. Mugen CRX Pro 2. Wow. And it's got the covers on the turn signals there too. Color just pops. It's wild. Cusco uh, roll cage in there. Okay. Wow. Dang, check out this right here. Little Honda Beat. Got the yellow Japan plates for K car. This thing is absolutely ridiculously tiny. Um, yeah. I feel like where I'm standing right here, I could probably reach the steering wheel. But this thing looks pretty cool. Looks good in the sun. Another car you can drive top down out here in uh, SoCal weather, of course. This thing looks tiny compared to a Civic. <laughs> yeah, but. Very good looking car. Nice classic combo here with the yellow and bronze wheels. Nice. 
Damn, we got Sebastian over here. EK with the Osaka Kanjo style. Theme is very consistent with this car. Definitely well ex executed, starting with the wheels. You get an MC 10 ls with the tire lettering sprayed on there, but of course all the details, what's up, man? Um, other details too, you got the window net, everything, man. All gutted, of course. Looks like it's got the Miracle X bar in the back, though. No good racing. Take a look inside too. Nice, man. Yeah, I like talking to this guy. We get, we definitely have some good conversations about Japan and all that, you know, style. And so, obviously, you can see definitely take take some of those styling cues, brings it back home. So, see West front bumper. Uh, of course, the Bomex mirrors too. There's a lot of little things. Like you know, the more you look at it. Um, let's take a look at his uh, his good friend over here. This is Mike. Mike's car representing. Uh, Wake Up Racing, also again with the Osaka theme. 99, 2000, so these guys are uh, the facelift versions. I'm team no facelift, but hey, we're all on the same team here. So good looking car guys, that's what's up. Now there you K with the Wake Up Racing group. Ah, nice, got the Aslan sticker on there. Nice, hey, there you go, 96, 98, represent. Show some love. Good looking car. Bling Blau EK over here. Finally got to meet in person. So nice meeting you, man. Um, the car looks good. I like the C West bumper on there. Good to see you taking this thing out on the track as well, sir. And um, I appreciate it. This guy definitely shows a lot of love to the channel. Um, he was telling me how he was watching the Streets of Willow videos. And uh, just that's cool, man. I love hearing stuff like that. So car looks good um love the theme with it of course and uh it was nice meeting you all right we've been walking around for quite some time but this right here got my attention Oof. look at this fd fd2 converted fa5 but this guy's using some really nice stuff um does a lot of work with uh zaft zero sync he's got the kit on there from max racing i believe is what he said but i love the ssr type f's man especially because you know use used, used to have a set on my own car as well so I'm very partial to him. He's running a staggered setup, uh, 18 by nine and a half up front, eight and a half in the rear. He's got the over fenders as well, Max Racing. So basically all of that's continuing to the back of the car here. Oh my God, Bolex wing. This is like all FA5 goals right here, man, at least for me. Very good style. We fit right in in Japan, of course, but man, this car looks great here. Takes it out to the track too. Interior's got a cage in there. And it's funny because, you know, talking to another FA5 owner, we also talk about common problems that we experience with these cars. Like the AC sometimes isn't as cold as you would need it to be, especially being stuck in traffic. So definitely some uh, mutual feelings there. Nice talking to you. Good car. All right, we got Luis over here, EF Civic SI. Rocking a half bumper cut. Showing off the Group B's on there. A lot of Group B wheels on the cars out here today. Very popular wheel out here in SoCal. Um, and for good reason. You can get them for a good price. Do a bunch of track days on them. Buy them brand new. Get another set as after you bang up the first set and go back out again. So again, Group B wheels, good luck. Got the Track Life Fender on there as well. A carbon fiber hood with the, the hood bins as well there. And it looks like he's got the JDM front. <laughs> so nice good looking car track ready machine right here also right next to it we got gene his a uh, grady themed crx over here super mean wide stance on a crx for sure looks good with the, with the wing and mean yeah. and clean gene with the gusseted cage too hell yeah me too brother so again, it was good seeing you. I love talking to people and um, catching up with them and what they're up to. And then sometimes we look at their cars. So, <laughs> well, here you go. So definitely enjoy it. But we still got more to go all the way down there. Speaking of familiar faces over here, we got Scotty Bonds, DC2 Integra, Mr. Track Monster over here. Guys running freaking minute 24 at Streets of Willow in this thing. But uh, definitely some things to notice. We got the C West bumper that has been integrated to the bug eye front end. So very funky. I like it. 
it's different. It's got dirty Kosei's on there, covered in brake dust as they should be. And then Buddy Club seats inside. Arrow continues all the way to the back with the C West wing. Cool tail lights. And then, yes, Sea West bumper as well. So, oh my gosh, cool car, man. But uh, definitely, um, I'm sure you guys might recognize it from places, various places. But for me, I'm just like, why are you so fast at the track? Someday. <laughs> this right here is, uh, man, everybody's over here in the epicenter of the meet. All the crazy cars over here. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a vibe. Right, Gene? Hey! <laughs> I'm like trying to get out of your picture. No, you're good, dude. The engine's about to go to the Oh, it is? Later, dude. Later, dude. Mr. Hung over here. Yeah. On his way to break another front lip. All right, we got Ryan Durr's EK over here. This thing is crazy. It's cool to see this thing in person. I know he's been doing a lot of work to it. Rocking the Exceed lip. 16s on there. White bronze combo. Yeah. But it's like clear. That's pretty cool. No side moldings. Yes. Thank you. Love it. Love the fact that it's also still very rough around the edges. You know? I think it's still rocking original taffeta white paint too. But. That's the, you know, stuff like this is what, and I get really excited when I see cars like this. They're just uh, super out there, but at the same time, they just, they look good, you know? Good style, for sure. Crazy. The steering wheel set up over there, look at that. Party button. <laughs> so techy. Crazy. <laughs> in case you're wondering what the party button did. Well, there you go. Thanks for the demonstration. <laughs> I also did want to stop by and check out this Integra right here. And of course it's orange, so it stands out. But uh, yes, check it out. A bunch of people are taking off, but we're gonna walk around here real quick. And tuck in the Mugen M7s. Sick. Very late 90s early 2005 here bring this style back guys well it's that time looks like uh inevitably it's time to get relocated involuntarily <laughs> but nonetheless great turnout of cars as always Traffic jam. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, fun fact: it's been about two and a half hours. This dude is still stuck in traffic. <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> Okay, so well, that's that. We're rolling out now. <laughs> um, yeah, you know how it is. Time to go.
right, you guys. Well, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Um, last stop. Because, you know, us here in California, all we do is just sit by the beach all day long and eat tacos, you know. So, it's true. Just want to say, it was a great weekend. Nice being back in SoCal, being home. Um, enjoying the vibes, you know, just getting back into the groove of things. It was a great weekend filled with events, too. We got to hit up Rex's event yesterday at the JDM Swap Meets. So that was cool. It was good catching up with all the SD homies. So, um, of course, there was some cool cars that came out. Also, I just want to say um, we had a good time today cruising out to Joey's event out there at our compound at Whittier, California. So it was a short and sweet time there, but we definitely got to enjoy some cars, enjoy talking to some of our friends there and catching up with people. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the content. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. We definitely got some more Japan videos for you guys to watch here. So stay tuned for that as well. Just wanted to say shout outs to you guys, especially everybody who's came up in the last few days to say hi, to say uh, you guys support the channel that you guys have been following. I really appreciate that. That goes a long way. I always enjoy like what, you know, hearing about what you guys like. I always enjoy, you know, even hearing what you guys are up to too. So again, definitely always feel free to say what's up um, and yeah looking forward to it but until the next time we will see you guys around you guys have yourselves a good rest of your day rest of your week whatever it is and yeah peace out